Assalamu alaikum to all my dear students. Hope you all are good and fine. Today I want to teach you about the topic sensitivity in plants. This topic is taken from your book unit 2 chapter sensitivity in living organisms. Now what is sensitivity? It is a power to respond to a stimulus. Stimulus can be defined as any change in the external and internal environmental conditions which can bring about a change in an organism. Response is a term used for change in the activity of an organism and this response is generally shown by the movements. The ability to respond to a stimulus is the characteristic of all living organisms. So this movement is carried out by two ways. Either the whole organism moves from place to place or some part of its body move either towards or away from the stimulus. The external stimuli that bring about response in an organism are light, temperature, gravity, touch, etc. Plants react slowly while animals respond more faster to stimuli. Movement in plants We have seen a different types of movement in plants. The first movement is nastic movement. These are non-directional movements and it is made by a part of a stationary plant in response to an external stimulus that is touch. The example of nastic movement are mimosa pudica, touch me not plant which we call touch me not plant or in Urdu Chui Muika Pada and Pitcher Plant. Mimosa on being touched closing its leaves and drooping as you see here. Before the touch and it is after the touch the mimosa closing its leaves and drooping. The second example is pitcher plant. The pitcher plant closes up its lid on the entry of an insect. It traps and catch the insect inside the lid. This is how nestic movement is done in these plants. Second is tactic movement. Now what is tactic movement? When a whole organism moves from one place to another in response to external stimulus that is light or any other stimulus it is said to exhibit tactic movements. The example of these movements are euglena and clemidomonas which shows phototactic movements that is it moves towards the light or it moves away from the light. This movement is called tactic movement. The last one is tropic movements. When a fixed part of a stationary plant moves in response to a stimulus the reaction is described as tropic movement. The stimulus is usually applied from one direction and the response is also made in that direction. The response may be positive that is towards the stimulus or negative away from the stimulus. Now the examples of tropic movements are tips of the shoot shows 
positive phototropism that it that is it grows towards the light and shows negative geotropism that is away from the gravity the second is roots show positive geotropism that is that is it grows in the soil and it attracts the gravity while it shows negative phototropism that is it grows away from the light these are the examples of tropic movements here you can see in this diagram the plant is put in a closed window and another plant is put in the open window the open window brings light inside the room so the plant moves towards the light or curved towards the light while in the darkness the plant doesn't curve or move in a similar way the potted plant shows positively geotropic and negatively geotropic now the question arises who is responsible for tropic movements The study shows that the growth in plants are controlled by a chemical substance called plant hormones. Hormones as you all know are the chemical secretions that are poured directly into the blood. So auxins are the class of plant hormones that are responsible for the elongation of cells and they are produced by roots and shoot tips. and from these tips they pass down to the growing region regions now here you can see that pot plant before it falls over it look straight while the pot plant after it falls over auxin makes the roots grow down and also auxin makes the stem grows upward This is how auxin controls and are responsible for the elongation of cells.